What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So today, yeah, yeah. Wipe your camera off, baby. Wipe, wipe your, wipe your, wipe your TV, y'all, baby. This is not no glitch, y'all. You're seeing the Erica Daly in some color, baby girl. I have not done color in my hair in what, like two years, and even then it was like black and brown. Like it was not, it was not given color. But this, baby, we are so. Expected that be a long cold winter. Fucking what a stone cold sinner. Yeah. Eating up all the Y chromosomes. All 20, 23. Bitch. I'm obsessed with this. So I got this inspo. I think her name is Asia. AJA. I remember seeing that on the thing, but it didn't like take me to it correctly i don't i don't know so yeah this is my inspiration photo right here um it didn't turn out as platinum as hers is in her skunk stripe but honestly i'm kind of glad that i kind of messed up and you'll see it in the video i'm kind of glad that mine didn't like go at well it was as platinum but like you'll see like i left my toner on too long and i thought that the toner like i thought it looked really dark because the hair was wet Okay, so I left my toner on really long, but honestly, I like it. I feel like it goes better with my undertones and everything. You know, it just warms the look up a little bit for me. And I fucks with it, like, heavily. I do, I do. And, you know, I love the side bangs. You know, these are coming back. You know, it's giving real... Is it Baywatch? Is that... I don't know, Pamela Anderson? I don't know what she did. Like, I just know this was, like, the iconic hair. Um, I don't know if she was in Baywatch. I don't think she was in Baywatch. I just think she was a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Well, she is a bad bitch. Um... You know, so yuck. Yeah, without further ado, you know, if you want to get cute, let's make it do what it do. <laughs> okay, so here is the bleach that I use for my hair. I got um some 40 volume clear all developer, and then I have the blue powder bleach as long as with the little purple packet of bleach. So I bleached my entire wig one time with the blue bleach and i'll show y'all what it lifted to and then i ended up bleaching my skunk stripe twice using that violet one um and then of course you're gonna use some aluminum foil now do not come for me i do not use like real salon foil when it comes to my wigs if you know if you're using the wigs i just don't recommend you do that but you know to each his own all right y'all i look crazy um i'm not installing the wig yet um so i just put this wig cap on so i can um just like try my wig on <laughs> so we can get ready to add our skunk skirt so this is what she looks like i didn't lift her up too much because honestly this is about the color that i wanted it to go i don't know how she lift up to this reddish color but i think it's given um the highlights in here are given um literally all i left it i left the bleach on the hair for probably like um a total of 40 minutes or so so yeah, I think it's gonna look really good when I get ready to color her. Um, so yeah, um, so we are going to go ahead and try the wig on just so we can go ahead and put our skunk stripe in it. Um, I know I want it on my right side, but I don't want my part to be in the skunk stripe, if that makes sense. I kind of want it like to the side of it. Um, so yeah, let's just put the wig on real quick. Huh. honestly i don't hate it i don't hate this color like i don't but this is not what we do <laughs> um honestly though i really don't know how it's gonna turn out i don't know how it's gonna turn out um i have a clue kind of nervous but you know it is what it is i feel like i can pull off anything if it look ugly then it just look ugly like but ain't nobody gonna tell me it look ugly I'm lying. Y'all might tell me it looks good. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I really, I'm really honestly just winging this, to be honest with y'all. I can't even cap. Like, you know, like I got this figured out because I don't. I'm just going off what I think I know and what I think I want. Okay. So, if I do a side part, it'll be probably like right here. Right? So, we're just going to make a side part over here to the side this is what my side part would um look like ah uh -uh. like that this is a um 
deep frontal, what do you call it? 13 by 6 wig. So yeah, my part looks something like that if I wore it to the side. So I know that I want like a little sliver here to still be red. Because I don't want it to just like, I don't want just like a whole like patch right there. I don't think that's cute. Not to me. I don't like how that looks. So I'm going to, mm, let's do a little bit more. Um. Yeah, something like this. Where's that? Yeah, it's something like that. So we're gonna do about this much. Cause you also want enough to show. You know what I mean? Um Yeah, something like this look good. I'm just gonna even this little section out. You know what? No. This enough. Because I don't want too much. I don't want too much. Alright. Alright. So. This is the section that we are going to be bleaching again. So that we can get it brighter. I messed it up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, like that. <laughs> All right. So now we're just going to go ahead. We're going to clip this little section and I'm going to go put her on my mannequin wig. Not my mannequin wig. On my mannequin stand. I'm going to bleach it there. I'm not going to bleach it on my actual head. I think that's stupid. That would be very stupid of me. So I'm just going to saturate this whole section and cover it in foil. And I'm going to be using the Kaleidoscope Purple Lightener and some 40 developer. And I'm probably leave it on for about 40 minutes um, and cover her up in foil. And I'm going to go have breakfast. And then um, I feel like I need to dry it just a little bit more just to make sure it's fully dry. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back. Hey guys, you wanna see a live TV show taping? Do I? Give me that. Come to a taping of Family Fracas. What's family? Alright, y'all, so this is what it looks like. Um, this is what the the skunk stripe looks like all bleached up. Um, I didn't take it as light as I wanted to because I was scared. I didn't want to like fry my hair too bad, but honestly, I think it's fine. Um, especially when I put the toner on it and everything. So this is what it just looks like rinsed out, no shampoo. So now we are just going to towel dry her and put her back on our mannequin head. Um, yeah, you want to towel dry, do not blow dry her completely dry. Um, towel dry is fine if you want to blow dry it that's fine too but you do not want the hair to be completely dry when we get ready to add our toner to the hair so let's go ahead and put her on the head and yeah okay so like i said we're applying the color and the toner to the hair while it's wet this is the toner and the um developer that i use which is the wella t11 toner um and then the wella developer and this is what it looks like just saturated only on that skunk stripe i'm not applying that toner to the whole head just a patch and now to probably the most important part, the color. Um, so I did a little concoction. Um, if you've ever watched any of my videos, my color videos before, you will notice that um, I like to mix up my colors. So I'm starting off with just a little bit of clear mixer in the bottom of this tub. Yes, I'm reusing the bleach tub. Don't come for me. Come for your mama, girl. And we got two things of the Kiss Cajun Spice. We got two things of paprika, a bottle of cherry bomb, and then also a bottle of French cognac. So you want to push that French cognac and cherry bomb to the side. So this is what um, Cajun Spice and paprika looks like all mixed together. Just two bottles of each all in there together. Um, and you just want to mix that very, very well with that clear um, mixer, okay? 
and once you get that mixed up i like to test my colors on a paper towel first um so it looks like this so i knew i wanted mine a little bit brighter so i'm gonna add just a little bit of cherry bomb um and then also i'm gonna add in some of the french cognac but i'm swatching it on a plain white paper towel as i go so i think i ended up using like a third of the cherry bomb bottle to get it to like the brightness that i wanted it and then i used like half a bottle of the french cognac um to get it to the color i wanted now also keep in mind because the hair is dark like i didn't lift my hair up um super bright i'm doing my colors a little bit brighter than normal so once you get all the colors added in there you want to mix it up really really thoroughly um and then swatch it again um you're gonna see a clip of what mine turned out looking like um it has really nice red undertones to it but it still pulls ginger you can really tell that okay it's like not just red red it's like ginger red like it's not just giving like firecracker red which i love like as you can see here yeah you can kind of like see the french cognac and the cajun space pulling out my girl pulling out so this is what it looks like applied to the wig here you can see um that toner that's what i meant when i say it was looking dark but i didn't really like think that it was the toner i thought it was because the hair was wet <laughs> all right so i just put the wig on my hair um this is what we look like um when i put the toner on i thought it was just looking dark because it was wet with toner but it toned it way way light but that's okay honestly i don't hate i don't hate it i really don't hate i don't hate it honestly i think if it was like that super white i think i would have freaking hated it but honestly i don't hate it i don't hate it i don't know i feel like this every time i get like something done like you know like i think it just takes time to grow on me so um i pulled the baby hairs out already um and i just secured it down and now we're just melting our lace with the stocking um i will attach well i already attached the video um um uh, my previous video like shows like how i customized the wig or whatever because this is that same wig um so yeah i already put my baby hairs out you know um uh, we're gonna fluff them up you know like once they finish melting or whatever um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair real quick um and i think i'm gonna put a face on yeah i'm gonna curl my hair and put a face on and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna see how she looks and then um i'm supposed to cut bangs into her so we're gonna see we don't see but i mean um i love the i love the red though because it's not i feel like it's red but it's not red like anybody that calls me red would be fucking wrong because this is like ginger red but it's not like gingery but it's still red if that makes sense like i think it makes sense like it's not I feel like it's exactly like it's literally the color that I wanted when I was mixing up all these colors. Like, I feel like you can literally see, you can see like the French cognac that's pulling in here. You know, you can see the paprika, you can see the Cajun spice, you see all the dimension. Um, you know, so I think it'll look good once we curl it and I get a face on and everything else. So let's go, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that so we can see the full picture, so we can give it a, a full, you know, look or whatever. All right, so I just threw on a little quick face or whatever. This is what we look like curled and Susie queued up. Um, let me grab a comb. We're going to go ahead and comb these little curls out. don't even want to cut the bangs in <laughs> like i don't i don't i don't even want to cut my bangs in
little bangs in here. It's so cute. Oh, wow. I really... It's definitely, it's not my favorite that I've done, but it's, it's so cute to me. So cute. I fucks with her. I fucks with her a lot. Bring this back down piece by piece. But the bangs are going to be so cute if I go ahead and put them right there, ain't it? Yeah. It's giving. It's giving. Let me, let's go ahead and put the bangs in. But hold on. Let me, let me get a quick picture in this, like, just like it is right now. Because she cute, too. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, I got a few snaps or whatever. So, now we're going to go ahead and... um. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and put these bangs on here. So, um, I really don't want none of my bangs to be blonde, like at all. So, you from about you to you, right? Then you're just going to, cause I want like the Pamela Anderson, like really like light, cute ass bangs. Yeah, <laughs> like that, like her. Yeah, we like her. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little piece right here. Okay. All right, y'all see it? Y'all see it? Y'all see the look? Oh my God, I see it! I see the look! Y'all see it? All right, so now I'm going to go with my flat iron. This is the EP flat iron. Now we're just going to go ahead and give her a little bump. And take my razor comb, comb side, and go ahead and comb her out. All right. All right, so I'm going to start really, really low first. Um... Because I do want, like, the little curl pieces. So, I'm going to kind of, like, go ahead and pull them out, actually. Because um, I only want, I want my little curl pieces to be, like, long. I want it to come like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring these here. Um, I want them fairly long. So, we're going to take the small side of the razor and just do that and then we're gonna drop these little pieces back to the side oh. Oh. why well, don't i think it was a good idea to do gloss before i even cut my bangs not the smartest move erica all right, you come back over here. Okay. And I'm going to start off like, like right here at my nose. Because, you know, you can go shorter, but you can't go back longer. So. Better send that profit out to get me. Expect me to study on Corona. You're looking with a stone cold sinner. 
Fuck out with me, you got no regrets. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. See how that's like right here? I feel like I need to just tape this off. I don't know. I don't know. I might be tripping. Am I tripping? Or is it? This side might be just curled a little bit more. Okay, so let's come back. And now I'm just like taking it just like piece by piece. So now I'm like leveling it to slightly below my waterline. And we're just going to chop. I just like doing my bangs with these razor combs more than more than I do like it with like scissors. I just feel like the point, my point never gets made with scissors. And then also it comes with a little comb. So, you know, like. And then you just, you know, play with it out, fringe it up. There we go. Okay, hold on. Let me let me touch the curls up, and I'm gonna come right back. Let me just retouch the curls and refluff it out, like you know. Expect this to be a long call winner. Oh, he fucking wanna call, call. See, got that from Atlanta, say it is me. <laughs> Well, well, well. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, we're gonna go ahead and close out this video because I was supposed to go recurve my hair. I didn't do that. I ended up calling my mama. I called my best friend, and then I made TikToks. So, oh, what the what the flip? What the flip? What the what in the world? But um, girl, I've been giving side profile. I've been giving. I've been doing it up. I've been doing it up, bitch. I've been doing. I've been doing damn thing. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. I'm so freaking obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's the it's the grooming. It's it's the grooming. Like, should I do this to my real hair color? Imagine this as a pixie. Deafening bitch! Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're gonna do this on yourself because it eats. Shout out to, um, once again. I I don't know. I I'm, I really don't. I think her name was Asia. I screenshotted it um from Instagram, but it didn't have the thing on there. So by all means, if y'all know her, please tag her. Um, I don't I don't think she did her own. I think it was like a stylist. I don't know. Either way, if you know her, you can tag her. Um, because this is totally inspired by her. Um, yeah, I love it so much. I love it so much, y'all. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I love y'all, and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh, uh, and while you're here, um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at the Erica Danley. And if you really want to connect with me, you can add me on Snapchat. I'm a little bit more personal on there. It's at it's Erica Dull with two Asians. I love y'all. I'm gonna see you later. <laughs>